bridge attached to the mountain as you walk over the water. Very cool. You can Google Hitch Up Matilda's Adirondacks if you want to read more about the origin of the name. But they got their name from a story about Bill Nye. Not that Bill Nye. A different Bill Nye. He was guiding a hike for Matilda Fielding, her husband and their niece, back in 1868. But originally these were floating logs just chained together, which allowed the trail to continue along the lake shore. And over time and years, these bridges have become more and more advanced to what we see today. Good stuff, and the only time during my 46er journey that I was ever on the Avalanche Pass Trail over here, actually. So it was cool to be on. The walk around Avalanche Lake is a lot of rock hopping and climbing up and down big rocks and boulders along the sides of the lake. A few spots with wooden ladders, up and down sections, that sort of thing. And on this day, it was probably around noon, maybe a little after when I was here, and I started to see group after group on the trail. Which makes sense, since it was early Friday afternoon, and if anyone has hiked the high peaks in the summer these days, they know the weekends are very busy with hikers and campers. I found myself going a little insane in my head from the solo element on this day, and I decided to throw an earbud in one of my ear on the way back and listen to music to help pass the time and slow my thoughts down a little bit. This served me well as I continued hiking past the lake and into the woods on Avalanche Pass. I remember passing a father and a younger son who weren't hiking any mountains this weekend. They were simply just hiking in to go camping. I found it very cool, very heartwarming. Great to see that sort of thing. and goes to show that you don't need to hike mountains to enjoy the Adirondacks. You can just hike along the trails to go in just to go camping. It's still an amazing experience. Once I got back to the Lake Arnold Trail Junction, I went back over the same wooden bridge on Avalanche Pass as I began the final trek towards Marcy Dam. Once I made it to the dam, it was time for the 2.4 mile walk through the woods back to the lodge. I mentioned in a previous episode about my, quote, Marcy Dam protocol which was basically just the time in the hike where I allow myself to put music on and listen to an earbud, but I had already done that earlier on this hike. Makes for a better trip at the end of the day when you're hiking by yourself. At this point in the day, I continued passing tons of campers and hikers walking into the dam for a weekend of adventure, as my day's adventure was coming to an end. So I made it back to the trailhead and signed out at 2.15 p.m., totaling my day at 10 hours and 45 minutes. A good long day for these two peaks for numbers 33 and 34. I certainly earned them here on my 11th High Peaks hike on my quest to summon all 46 high peaks in one summer. Mount Colden and Mount Marshall, to quote New York Mets radio broadcaster Howie Rose, put it in the books. Next time on 46 of 46, I'll be back on the trail just 36 hours from now with Josh as we enjoy a perfect sunny day on Haystack, Basin, and Saddleback by snagging the only remaining parking spot at the Garden at 3.45 a.m., a trailhead I've yet to hike out of. That's next time on 46 of 46. Remember to always leave no trace, do the rock hop, and if you carry it in, carry it out. See you on the trails. <laughs>